All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Save America Vote Tulsi Gabbard. Yes, I've got a Tulsi update for you as far as the donor count. As of April 3rd, the total is 61,029 donors, only 3,971 unique donors to go. And when Tulsi um, tweeted this out, she says, Our success isn't driven by mainstream media coverage, celebrity influencers. Ugh, this woman is awesome. She's just awesome. Let's just be honest here. Or establishment networks. She's it. Hey, Trump people, Tulsi Gabbard is the way to go. Do you want to save face? Do you want to have a candidate who you, you, know, you could tell your kids about, you could teach your daughters about? I mean, look at this awesome woman. I mean, can you look up? Do you want your kids to be like Donald Trump? Do, seriously, do you want... To see, and this is the thing I didn't think about when I voted for Trump. I had to, I had to put away, I had to suspend um, that portion of my brain. And I was laughing because I have all these Christian friends who are like, Oh, Donald Trump is, you know, he, he's the best choice. I'm like, really? Aren't you guys into morals and stuff? And <laughs> do not cheat. Do not steal. Um, Ten Commandments. How many... <laughs> Look, we're all guilty of all of that. I'm not going to judge anybody. But to lift Trump up as some kind of um, God-ordained candidate, was that was comical. That was comical. They did it with Ted Cruz, too, which I thought was funny. But it was funnier with Donald Trump. It's just hysterical. Um, Tulsi Gabbard actually has values, even though you don't share her views, say, on homosexuality or something like that. She has values that are more in line with a Christian belief system, uh, even though she's Hindu. And I know, oh no, she's Hindu. All right, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> I don't care. I went on this channel early on. I said, I don't care. Why should, why would, I mean, freedom of religion? Um... Come on. I mean, you don't think being a Hindu, she, Hindu she's going to fight for freedom of religion? See, that's the, another great thing about Tulsi Gabbard. But 61,029 donors. And we're, she's going to be on the debate stage. And now we have to prepare for what's going to happen. Okay? She, especially when she hits that number, the networks are all going to be like, uh-oh, she's going to be on the debate stage. Do we we got to ask questions that kind of leave her out, or we got a we got a tag team? We'll we'll maybe we'll even talk to some of the other folks. Hillary Clinton got remember she got prep, she basically got prepped for these debates and how she would um, she had the questions ahead of time. All this it's it's unbelievable how rigged the last election was for Hillary Clinton. It and she still lost. Which shows you how bad of a candidate she was. Hey, I want the first woman president. Yeah. I'm not a bean counter. I'm not into identity politics at all. But this, this would make me proud. This would be a moment where I would smile and I would say, yep, she's the right one to be the first uh, female president. And it would be just an, an honor uh, to have her as the president of the United States. Um, I tell people sometimes, I think maybe Tulsi's too good for the presidency. I mean, when you look at some of the past presidents we've had um, re in recent memory, um, she would be such an upgrade that, and this is the other thing too, people are worried, you know, if Trump runs and it's Biden, it's Trump against Biden, they're going to bark at each other, and this is, you know, or Bernie too, they're worried about that because Bernie tends to have, um, you know, he tends to speak loudly and He's got a certain tone uh, when he speaks, and Trump as well has a certain tone. And uh, you've got a guy from the Bronx against the guy from Manhattan, and people are just, you know, and that's kind of weird because it's like a, a New York matchup between two older white guys. Whereas Tulsi comes in, and she just, class just follows her into the room. And people have told me that. People who have who've seen Tulsi in person. And the other thing is, she's warm, she's genuine, um, she's real. And we want all of those things in the White House, but we, first and foremost, we want the right ideas. And Tulsi Gabbard has the right ideas. And she cares about working people. 
and she knows that we're still struggling and we're still kind of left behind out here. And I just think this is awesome that she's at 61,029 donors, only 3971 to go. And if anybody ever deserved to be on that debate stage, it's Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, all the corporate puppets, they got their donations probably. Who knows how they got them and where they got them and so forth. Tulsi is getting just individuals donating just a dollar or two, whatever it is. If you haven't donated, folks, please go to Tulsi's website. It'd be uh, Tulsi2020.com or .org, I forget which one, but you'll, you'll get there. And um, make a donation. Get her into these debates. Make it a done deal. I'd like to see it happen by the end of the weekend or something. Um, independent media, too, by the way. Uh, guys like Nico House and Jimmy Dore, uh, Kim Iverson, these people are the reason Tulsi is where she's at right now as far as donations. And um, we need to just keep plugging along and, um, you know, wish her well because she's going to be on that debate stage. And then, and then we can watch and see how the media attacks because that will be an interesting thing. And she may snowball because guess what? People are going to see through it. People are going to see it this time because of what Bernie did the first time around. People are going to see that the system is rigged toward the corporate candidates and nobody's going to put up with it this time. Uh, she's going to get sympathy from places, from like people who supported Trump, she'll get sympathy. She's going to get sympathy from Bernie supporters uh, and people who have common sense who can see what's happening to her. So um, go Tulsi and uh, don't forget to donate. I'll be back soon. So see you then.